you have to tell your story well. And particularly with premium produce, which might be considered more expensive, you've got to justify why it's the most expensive salmon that's available. We have our brand aura king for these premium chefs and premium restaurants around the world. It's often delivered in this fabulous whole fish format, so the beauty is in its simplicity. Then we have our regal brand, which is for retail and for consumers. We really believe you get this taste experience, this culinary experience. We're doing the same for pets. We're giving them healthy, fantastic tasting food that just delivers this experience for the pet and their owner. But it's also using our salmon byproducts and that hits that sustainability button, but it's also very good for us as a business. We export to around about 17 countries these days. Norway did a very good job of introducing Atlantic salmon to Japan. We then can upgrade that consumer into king salmon as the premium choice. So Japan was our first export market, but these days we're also exporting to China, Europe, other Asian countries and the Pacific. We never sit still and we're always confident that we can find a way to grow our business. In recent years that's been growing our business through value and brands have become part of that value because you achieve value by telling your story well and convincing the consumer there's a real need and desire there. We've been fairly stagnant in volume for the last few years and that's a challenge because finding the water space to grow is a challenge for us. But we also have aspirations to grow our volume. We launched Dora King and all of a sudden we saw the appetite for the story and more of that story and the depth we were offering our customers and the ability to engage with our chefs. So no longer was it just a fish, anonymous, arriving on a kitchen bench, looking good, tasting good, definitely, but now it was Aura King salmon the community behind Aura King and the family who worked behind it and the network you built and the experiences you had with Aura King. Originally the brand was designed for a Japanese chef and then it quickly became, no, we've got an appetite for this globally so we need to design a brand that speaks well to all markets we're in and all future markets we might be in. You can see that there's King in the name and we really wanted to name check our special species and make sure that that was core to the brand. Actually, you talk about where it comes from and that might be either New Zealand or Marlborough, New Zealand. New York is no Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc and so you've got a great opportunity to align with Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc to Marlborough Salmon and Aura King Best of Breed needs to come into that as well. So that's how we do it. Brand New Zealand is really important for us. 